Welcome to this click video about the ease of embedding analytics using ClickSense and the Click Analytics platform, what we typically refer to as QAP. Let's begin at the end. What would the end result look like for a successful integration of ClickSense into your application architecture? Your goal is to create and provide within a multi-tenant SaaS platform environment, embedded analytics, with your core applications where each of your customers would see and use only their data for their analytic needs. It's possible for each customer to have a more fine-grained authorization structure. As an example, it is possible to provide authorizations for a specific department or country within a dashboard. In our demonstration, we will take you step-by-step -step through the integration process flow and you will see a simple solution in which both of our fictitious users, Peter and John, go to the same website but see different things based on their authorizations. ClickSense makes this possible because it uses a dynamic attribute-based security approach in which we reuse all the pre-existing users and roles from your SaaS platform. This ensures ClickSense stays automatically in sync and avoids the overhead of double maintenance. The beauty of Click is that it allows you choices for your integration. You can choose the level of web integration according to your business requirements, and on the client side, you can choose to use our Click client or you can create your own. If you choose to use the ClickSense client, you have the following options. You can integrate the ClickSense hub, an app, a sheet, or individual charts. In most cases, you have the flexibility to control whether you would like to see our menu, our selection bar, or whether or not you would like to provide initial selections or make the chart static so that no selections are possible at all. By using the Click Analytics Platform, or QAP, you can embed visual analytics or just the data into other applications. This means you can use the predefined ClickSense charts into your SaaS platform or you can choose to use the power of our Kix associative engine with QAP and just connect to our data and use your own charting library to visualize it. QAP is already included in ClickSense Enterprise, but it can also be licensed standalone. So what is the difference? Well, simply put, the QAP is everything ClickSense Enterprise offers, except the self-service capabilities ClickSense provides in the ClickSense Hub. As you can see in this diagram, the self-service client is the delineation between QSE and QAP. This is the key difference between the two products. With QAP, developers can still create and maintain charts via the APIs of the Click Charting Library. They can also still access the Click Management Console, or QMC, and all of the governance capabilities it provides. And with QAP, developers can access ClickSense APIs, which include the use of the DevHub or the Visual Studio plugin, which helps create HTML and JavaScript for ClickSense object integration into external web applications. In summary, QAP includes all of the features and capabilities of QSE, except the ClickSense Hub. Let's talk about functionality of QAP versus ClickSense Enterprise through different use cases. QAP is intended for extranet and OEM offerings where large numbers of users will access a QAP-enabled website for short to medium periods of time, or in other words, high concurrency with low duration of time. Think guided dashboards with mild interactivity. QAP is not intended for enterprise deployments where named users will perform self-service discovery. This is a ClickSense-defined use case. The Click Analytics platform provides developers the ability to access and utilize the power of the Kix engine in order to embed visual analytics. Let's look in more detail how this is accomplished. Embed Visual Analytics Anywhere QAP gives developers a standard analytics development environment that enables them to create and reuse data models, security configurations, and visualizations, all within a common framework. This allows them to embed visual analytic components into any application, website, or portal for use on any device, anywhere, anytime. Direct access to the Kix engine. 
The Click Indexing Engine, or KIX, is the world's most powerful associative data indexing engine. It can ingest data from any source and provides rapid access to all of it, performing calculations and aggregations on the fly. The KIX engine ensures that analytics are fully interactive and stay in context together. Finally, modern and open APIs. QAP was built using modern standards like JavaScript, HTML5, CSS3, and Node.js. Developers can communicate with the APIs via any technology because they are REST and WebSocket based. We also provide development tools and API wrappers to ensure fast and easy programming. This includes our DevHub, Visual Studio plugin, and the JavaScript APIs and .NET SDK. This ensures that QAP works with the most modern web and application technologies that exist today. The application development cycle for a QAP deployment includes creating a ClickSense application using QSE. You can create content using the normal end user client, the ClickSense hub which we mentioned previously, or you can instead use the APIs to create charts and content. If you decide to pursue the API approach, you can also choose to not create all charts up front, but instead create some charts on the fly in your production environment. In this way, you can build dynamically created apps and charts based on data and events from your SaaS platform. Moving to deployment, in most cases, you've already developed your target web application for embedding analytics. You need to deploy the ClickSense application and web application to their respective production environments, QSE app to QAP, or QSE server and web app to the host application web server. Now that you understand the range of options you have for integration, let's talk about how to do this with a few approaches. You can integrate the ClickSense hub using an iframe. You can integrate a sheet or chart using an iframe or div. Finally, you always have the option to generate apps and charts on the fly using code in your SaaS platform. For this approach, you don't have to prepare anything up front, just simply generate the content as you need it. On this slide, you will see some example use cases where we used QAP to embed ClickSense in an external website. We also have several examples of QAP embedded on third-party websites you see mentioned here. Before moving to the demonstration, let's summarize. First, understand the difference between QAP and ClickSense Enterprise. QAP can be seen as a subset of ClickSense Enterprise use cases. QAP has been designed for the embedded analytics use cases. So what is the difference? In principle, they are the same except QAP users do not have access to the hub. This means users cannot engage in self-service activities. Self-service is included in the hub, a functionality of ClickSense Enterprise. So, the ability to create and edit an app, sheets or objects, is not available in QAP. This can only be done in the ClickSense Enterprise Edition, which includes the hub. Technically, it means that all end-user functionality normally only available in the URL path slash hub is not available in QAP. But remember, all the APIs are still there, so you can still create content using the APIs. You can use this rule of thumb. The gray bar and its buttons are not in QAP. Also note that these items are things to create and change content. So the end result is that QAP enables you to display a sheet or a chart of an app on your website. But before you can display these items, you first have to create the app on a separate ClickSense Enterprise environment or use the APIs. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.